Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the leaderboards. We just got through with round one. We have Ant-Man and we've got Squirrel Girl in the arena. And we're gonna take a look at the leaderboards and see if we see any friends, names we recognize, that sort of thing. Give them a little shout out. Now, I don't know what the cutoff was. Unless somebody sends me the cutoff information, sends me a screenshot, something like that, I have no way of knowing. We used to have a, a site uh, run by Trucos who would give us that information because people would self-report and he stopped doing it. So since then, it's just a matter of who's sending to what, uh, you know. Anyway, uh, you can see here, have not done any of the Sunday arena. And I may, because there's a level up going on right now, but if the arena wins event is still on by, you know, tomorrow, maybe tomorrow evening, I'll probably just do it then. But I might do a little bit just to say I did. Um, less that I need to do uh, to get the milestones. All right, let's take a look. All right, so I got the 11 to 30 percent, which is what I usually go for. And I did manage to finish the uh, summoner trials once again. Let's uh, let's go to Squirrel Girl. I remember when she was in the uh, featured. And she went really low and that was a while back. So I can't imagine she went higher this time. Not too many people uh, want Squirrel Girl. I remember I grinded for her. I didn't have her. And I put up something like 20 million over the cutoff, something like that. Didn't care. Was uh, using that opportunity to see what I could do so that when a champion came out that I really wanted, that a lot of people wanted, I'll know what I was capable of. And it worked out. Uh, I was able to accurately judge whether I could do the grind and what it would take. But yeah, I'm not surprised. Agent Lemon, ha ha ha. Uh, Grimlock, I'm not surprised that not too many people that I recognize uh, are going for her. Uh, Toy Shadow, if that is you, congratulations. Uh, you must not have had her all this time, you know, but she's a... a Older champion now. And really just for the collection. If I didn't have her, I'd go for her, which is what I did. Didn't care whether she was good or not. Only cared whether I had her, didn't have her, added her to my roster. And she helped me get points, so I can't complain. All right. Now, let's see who's Mr. or Mrs. 101. Kid with the Golden Arms. Such a lovely long name. But you were close. Your arms were apparently a little too short. You have my condolences. Oh my, Laser John. He is, um... One of the officers in my alliance. Uh, 103, ouch. Close, 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 man. No wonder your scores were up there. Uh, I'm new to the alliance, so uh, still getting familiar with the names and all that good stuff. But I know he often uh, is the one tagging us, uh, letting us know different things. And it is very appreciated. Uh, I believe he was the one that tagged me or tagged everyone uh, about the new change. Uh, there were some changes to map eight and it affected me in a good way. Uh, I do map uh, eight path seven. And they were addressing some pain points on that path. So that Mephisto who was a pain, but I had gotten used to uh, fighting him. He uh, is no more, and they put Doc Ock in his place. Much easier to fight. 
And another big one is that they, um, I forgot the name of the node, but basically um, we still have the dish track, but we can now bring in non-cosmic champions. Before that, it had to be cosmic. Now, your cosmic champions still work. I ranked up Null for it. He's still a beast for that path. Now, though, I, it's open for me to bring in some others if I want to. Uh, so far, I haven't. It's only day one since the change, and I've been rocking it, so um, it just made it easier for me. And uh, I believe they took out the stealth Spidey, um, who was annoying, and he was the reason that I brought in um, Venom, because Venom can do dish track, and he could handle that stealth Spidey, who was very annoying. All right, but great, great changes. Loving, loving those changes. All right, Megatron, you are the top dog. Okay. I have a feeling not too many people were really grinding for Ant-Man. Uh, time to shine. Congratulations. Black Cat, congratulations. Let's see. Anybody else we recognize? An angry elephant. You're not angry today. But I do remember seeing that name at 101. Culty, congratulations. I'm trying to remember. Uh, Agent Lemon double dipping. Or actually, I'm not sure. I can't tell because there's several Agent Lemons. Um... I don't remember if I have um, Ant-Man as a six star. Even if I don't, I'm not going to get him. Um, not grinding for him in, in this arena. But I'm thinking, hmm. I'll have to look. I'll have to look later. Uh, who knows? I might get bored and, and decide to uh, grind for him. I don't know. We'll see. Sir Quixote? See what else? I remember that name, Ghost over uh, Japan. That's a name that kind of sticks with you, you know. All right, Baba Yaga is another name that'll stick with you. You are the last one to get Ant Man as a six star out of the featured. I don't know what score you put up, but if you see this, leave a comment and let me know what your score was. But now. It is time to reveal the uncoveted position of 101. Oh, Dr. Lee Muerte. I am so sorry. You probably feel like death right now. However, the good news is that this is only round one. So you still have a chance, if you so desire. Let's see, El Guapo, Papeto, ID Slim, congrats on your new Ant Man. I already know if you wanted the six star, you would have grinded for it. Mm hmm. Bold pilot. Why does that sound like an anime? Oh, I remember. Dragon. I think it was Dragon Pilot. I was like, why did that sound like some anime that I once watched? Bratan! Oh, some names I see on both boards. So I think y'all are just fleshing out your rosters. Good, good. New Ant-Man is on the way. That should be interesting. I'm hearing uh, some nice things about him. That he's actually pretty decent. So we'll see. See how that goes. Dangerous and bad. Ooh, okay. All right, guys. That is going to do it for the video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, feel free to hit that like button. Let me know what your score was. This is round one, so a lot of people will come 
and look at the um, comment section. And I'll even redirect them to the comment section so that they can have an idea of what they need to be putting up for round two if they want to get these champions as a five or a six star. So very important if you wish to share that information. So take care and you all have a blessed day. Thank you.